My name is Major Bailey Sr. I'm from Natchitoches, Louisiana. This is my wife, Sharonda Washington. I had a son that uh, uh, played basketball for uh, the University of Arkansas. And we traveled down there uh, nine, ten times. I worked at the uh, llama company. I was yeah. big and strong uh, when I got sick. I was coughing a lot. Uh, that's what started me, us to realize that there was something wrong because I couldn't lay down. I had to try to sleep sitting up. They did um, EKG and straight from there, they sent him over to the hospital. I saw that it had a very leaky mitral valve. So Dr. Gary Jones was consulted as he is an expert in cardiothoracic surgery. This particular patient had severe mitral valve regurgitation, a dilated cardiomyopathy, and advanced coronary disease, which was going to require uh, the very best and complex work. He, he and his wife had to admit he was a very sick man. Yeah, he was. I mean, you got injection fraction 10 to 15 percent. First, you can see without the uh, Impella, he wouldn't have had this operation. I mean, we had to plan it out before knowing we were going to need it. We definitely needed it. He needed it. Uh, he wouldn't have come through. There's no doubt in my mind about that. I've been doing this for over 40 years. I can tell you that he wouldn't have made it. Uh, but with the machine, it afforded him an opportunity for his heart to pick up, for him to get stronger uh, to get through that, and it did. Right after the surgery, his eyes started moving a little bit. I said, has he been woke yet? They said, no, he hadn't, he hadn't woke up yet. And he opened one eye and looked at me. I said, you hear me talking, don't you? <laughs> and he opened his eyes and looked at me. So I was like, okay. But uh, mostly what I remember about the ICU is the staff. They helped a lot when Dr. Jones wasn't there. Even when they moved him to another floor, they came to check on him. So that was, that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because of his... Uh, Low performance on the ejection fraction, like say 10 to 15 percent, he was unable to move fluid through his body properly. Now with the valve fixed and the bypass, he's doing a much better job, as you can see. What are y'all doing up there? Hey, we come, <laughs> we come, I come to see you guys. Well, I'm at the house. Okay, I should have been at work. I was telling them how much I appreciate y'all and uh, the help y'all gave me when I was in the hospital. And how good y'all treated and me. And how nice y'all treated oh, me. Well, you look I got my little grandson and I want to, uh, and a granddaughter, and I want to see them grow up and graduate high school and go off to college. And I would like to be a part of that, so I'd like to see my kids uh, grow up. He wants to try to get the, uh, the baby boy into uh, sports also. So. Yeah, I like helping the kids, and then I had stuff to teach, so I substituted a lot just for that purpose. When I get back to a level to where I can do it, then I'll, I will get back to doing this. He's got a second chance and he knows it and he's trying to do, do everything he's supposed to do. So. Oh, we like to travel. We, yeah. we did a lot of travel, a lot of travel. We got a lot more traveling to do though. Yeah, we still got a lot more coming. I don't know when I'm coming back. I ain't in no hurry. I know, so. I know.